Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Brad from Circling the Drone. I'm out at the park. Uh, it's fine Wednesday morning. It's about 33 degrees according to my uh, to the van. I've got the uh, Hubson Zeno Pro out here. I'm gonna do a couple tests with it. Maybe check out the precision landing. I, I turned that on in the app. It has to be actually turned on in the app for you to use it. And it says it's in beta mode still, so. We'll just do a little flying around the park so you guys can see how, how it handles. It's actually holding pretty steady right now. All right, so let me go ahead and bring her down a little bit. Uh, go into the special modes here. Try follow mode. Select the tar target, keep the target five to 15 meters away from the aircraft and check surrounding environment. Okay. It says it's flying too low, so we'll get it up in the air a little bit. Alright, so I got the, the box drawn, hit go. Nope, lost me. That didn't take long. I saw a bunch of warnings on the screen. I couldn't read what they were saying. So yeah, it's following me around the little parking lot here. So yeah, it's not doing too bad with the active track. A little bumpy start there, but so far so good. All right, let's stop that. Let's try, um, let's go into orbit mode. So you have some the so set location of the point of interest, the transmitter location is the point of interest. Let's 
Okay, so you have two different choices. You can set the transmitter as the location of the point of interest or the aircraft's current location as the point of interest. So we'll just leave it as a transmitter. Hit next. Take it up a little bit farther. So you can change the uh, orbit speed, slow it down, or no, that's actually making it go the other way. Okay. A little close to the trees there. Oops. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. So you slide this bar the other way. It should stop and start going the other way. All right, so that works. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, waypoints, I'm not really gonna do that. Creative video. So in creative video you have, there's fly to sky. Oh, this, I hit fly to sky and says this feature has not been implemented. Orbit shot. This feature has not been implemented, so they must be going to be. There's going to be a uh, update for the uh, the app probably to implement those. Uh, let's try a panorama shot. Oh, so all it does is it looks like it just spins around, yaws around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. So I'm just going to take it out and uh, hit return to home. Recording. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something else I did find um, when I did my range test. The uh, you noticed that the drone was only going about nine to nine point five miles per hour um, i found in the settings that the aircraft maximum speed the uh horizontal speed was only down to 50 percent so that's why it was uh so slow i do want to turn i think the heading speed is the uh yaw rate let me see if that's right yeah so the i turned the yaw rate down with that um, they call it heading speed so yeah make sure and check that uh, if your drone's going pretty slow mine was only set to 50% so now it goes a little bit faster
Let's see if I can get it up to, uh, let me take it out a little bit. Yeah, up to 16 miles per hour right there. So I'm going to go ahead, hit uh, return to home, take off point. Yeah, so it's a little bit off there, but I think in order for precision landing to work, you have to actually turn recording off, so I'll give that another shot. So I'm put it back up in the air. Take it up and out a little bit. Yeah, you can see I get that max speed up to almost 16. Take it out a little bit for you. Yeah, 17 and a half. So yeah, definitely check that um, horizontal speed setting. Okay, so I'm gonna hit return to home. Take off point. turn off recording I think this is this is when it'll try to use the uh, the camera to find the, uh, the apron at least it should anyway there it's trying to find it Looks like it's locked on. Still locked on pretty good. Well, now I lost it. Nope. Gonna be off again. All right, well, I'm down to 21%, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in another battery and give the return to home another shot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit return to home about 890 feet out, 893. Take off point, okay. So it's coming back. I gotta remember to turn the uh, recording off when it gets close, when it gets over us. So we can use the camera to find the landing apron. So it's right over top of us. I'll go ahead and hit turn the recording off. It's on its way down.
Should start looking for that apron pretty soon, I would think. See, that's looking for that's got it. It's got it. Still in the green. Yeah. Oh. Right on the edge. Not too bad. Got one leg on. All right, we'll try it again. Take it out a little bit here. About 250, 280 feet. Return to home, takeoff point, okay. Let's turn it around. back over top of us. Found the pet landing apron again. Still in the green. Looks like it's going to be close this time. Oh. Got the leg on again. I mean, that's not really too bad for a drone like this, so take what we can get, right? <laughs> Alright guys, um, hey, thanks again for watching and uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, I have to get this Zeno back out to the lake and uh, try to do another uh, range test at some point once I get the batteries worn in. And plus, I found that uh, that speed setting, so it'll definitely go out a lot faster. So, all right, uh, thanks for watching, guys.